What? There's something I need to show you. This had better be good, because this really isn't the time for one of your ridiculous games. I was thinking about last night, and how you were saying, how you'd given up all hope, how you're a poor leader and a shoddy king. Shoddy? All right, shabby. Thanks. Well, it reminded me of a tale Gaius once told me. Merlin, I'm really not interested in your favourite bedtime stories. For once in your life, just listen. Many years ago, before the birth of the Five Kingdoms, this land was in an endless cycle of bloodshed and war. But one man was determined to end all that. He gathered together the elders of each tribe and drew up plans for the lands to be divided. Each would respect the other's boundaries and rule over the land as they saw fit. That man was Camelot's first king, ancestor to all that followed, including you, Arthur. Ruta. You know the story. Yes, every child in Camelot does. Can I go back to bed now? No, because there's another part of the story that you haven't heard. Really? When Bruta was on his deathbed, he asked to be taken deep into the forest. There. With the last of his strength, he thrust his sword into a rock. His lineage was ever questioned. This would form a test. Only a true king of Camelot could pull the weapon free. Are you making this up? Of course not. All right. If it's true, why haven't I heard this story? Well, history isn't really your strong point, is it? And where is this rock? Oh, it was lost many years ago, during the Great Purge, but I've managed to find it. I've never heard so much rubbish in my entire life. Are you calling Gaius a liar? No, I'm calling you an idiot. What's that, then? <laughs>